But a pensioner on a fixed income who has a state pension, there is no kind of tax cut that's going to help them. They have a pension and they have an energy bill and that pension will not meet that energy bill. It will but, not meet that right. If you reduce taxes on fuel, you get rid of the green levies, you make sure pounds. the private sector come to the table, you cut VAT by 5%, which is dramatic and which is Liz, Liz Truss is, is considering. You basically reduce the cost of... May I just tell viewers that this is not a party political broadcast for Liz <laughs> Truss. No, 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 I'm not. But it's so <laughs> refreshing. It's, I follow the Tory party, obviously see very closely all my life. But it's the first time in 12 years I've seen a Tory leader actually espousing traditional conservative values. Now, I wonder, once Liz Truss, if she is appointed Prime Minister, leader, um, uh, leader of the Conservative Party, whether she'll maintain this ideological stance towards free markets, low taxes, or if she, once she becomes Prime Minister, will face the same problems that every Prime Minister seems to have, which is constant demands on the public purse. I suspect not, given how big pension are part of her voter base. She absolutely has to give them money, not just morally, but also kind of practically. If she wants to win the next election, she has to hand out the cash. The tax cuts will not get her there. They will not help those pensioners. But no amount of handing out the cash is going to help either, Jeevan.